to my channel. So today we're going to do a fun makeup tutorial, hence my background. Look at it, look at it. Yeah, fun. And some yellow, wow you can't see me, some yellow accents. Well that looks good, that really looks good. Don't take it up the wrong way. Let's, let's take this lip eyes off. I didn't do any makeup, not even lip eyes. <laughs> So with the COVID-19 going around and the lockdown not wanting to end, we need a little bit of happiness. So today is definitely a colorful, colorful makeup tutorial. So if you don't know what I'm doing now, I'm putting on some primer. I've talked about this Maybelline New Baby Skin a lot, but this really, really works well for hiding those fine lines like I have here on my forehead as well as under my eyes. This really works well. Guys, go try it out. And then of course, it also hides the pores, especially the ones that I have here by my nose. I have quite a large pores, not that bad, but still visible, especially when I do close-up photography. Here we go, our primer is done. Now I want to go in with a foundation. But where is my foundation? I'll be back. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is the one that I advertised on my Instagram as well. I did a short review on my Instagram. Not advertise, sorry, scratch that. So this is in the color NC. 20 this matches me perfectly so in the review you would have seen that this is buildable so i'm going to do one layer first so that i can show you how how buildable it actually is <laughs> so i'm putting this directly on my face because i already know how to control the quantity on my face so I'm going straight in there. But for you, maybe starting out, put it on your hand rather, because then you can control the product that you put on your face. Now I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender. Although it's not damp, this is dry. Anyway, spray it with some setting spray. This really helps, so there's a tip for you. Then I'm gonna go in and blend this out on the face. Blending, blending. <laughs> oh, there's a blended movie, isn't it? Mm. Anyway, so guys, how are you keeping up with this COVID-19 lockdown situation? Right about now, comment in the below area and tell me, how are you feeling about this? Are you taking this quite well, remarkably well than what you would have thought you would? Or are you feeling quite down? Because I know I get down days during this lockdown. Some days I can keep myself positive. Other days it's harder to do that. Really hard. But hey, if you're committed to do that, you will actually win. So just a little tip. Try and make that decision daily that you are going to be happy. No matter what. No matter... Woo. No matter if you're going through hell, you just keep going because do you know what? There's only one of you and the world needs you. So really, just flaunt your stuff. We need you. So just be positive. Think about all the positive... Think about all the positive things you have. Think about the people that you are with in your house. Yes, it maybe could start out being terrible if you're stuck with like a spouse or something. Yeah, that can actually be bad, but you can turn it into something good. Because now is the time for you guys to get to know each other better without any distractions, which is an awesome thing. Okay, so that you would see is one layer of MAC foundation. It's beautiful there. Eh? So beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to wait for this layer to dry. Otherwise, I'm just going to move around the foundation on my face. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to wait till this dry. 
And then, while we wait, I'm going to go in with brows. You guys know this little pencil. I don't even think I need to mention it because you see it all the time. It's just that I like this pencil. I'm doing my brows from afar because the mirror is here. So, if I look weird or it looks like I'm struggling, it is because I am. I am struggling. But I'm going to do it like this. The, I'm going to go in and outline my brow area. I really like to add some volume. You see, immediately I have volume and definition. And then I like to overdraw the brow on top. Whew, feels like my eyes are taking a strain. I just want to put that arch on fleek. There we go. Now that's pretty. And then I go in with some little hairs in the front and then color in the rest of the brow. Like that. And then my little angle brush, I go in and just fade everything out, blending everything together. There we go. Okay, now this looks like a mess, but I'm going to show you how to fix that now with your same concealer brush that we applied our foundation on with and some concealer. Okay, so I'm using my Color Concealer 513 brush and I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is in the color... Color, 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 where are you color? Oh, light medium. 30. So it's like a sable color. All sables I know is on farms. But yeah, it's in makeup too. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of concealer with my concealer brush. And then I'm going to start in the front of the brow. And make like a small line. Very close to the brow area. But you're fixing up your faults that you made here. Your faults? I don't think that's correct English. Well, you're fixing up any mess that you made. If it was only so easy in real life. <laughs> Just get your concealer brush. Let's fix this. That would be really nice though. Imagine if that could be your superpower. Like you're a super genie in makeup. And if you want to fix something, just take your makeup. Like conceal that error you did. Or that excess you took back. Or something like that. Okay, I'm going into deep here. And then your setting spray power could be you find the right husband. And now you're setting him in place so he doesn't go anywhere. See? This makeup superhero stuff can actually work. Oh, maybe that's the next idea for the next video. <gasps> like this video now if you want that for the next video. Go ahead and do that. I'm not sure which side of the screen it is, but go there. Go there. And then on top. It's fun. Here we go. And then just blend it out, otherwise, it's a terrible stripe that's there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this brow off camera, and I'll be with you right now. Woo! Both brows done. I don't know why I had that entrance, but it just worked for me. Okay, so now this layer of foundation is definitely dry. So I'm going to go in with one more layer. But now I'm going to put some of the foundation on my hand. If it wants to come out. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and pick up just enough to work with. So this Beauty Blender is still damp from all the setting spray I drowned it in. So you can definitely go in with the same beauty blender if you need a little bit more of wetness then you can just use a little bit more setting spray now just be careful not to apply too much foundation under your eyes because this will definitely make your wrinkles that we just covered up with that primer reappear and we don't want that definitely don't want that uh -uh. So I'm thinking 
the second layer is enough for me. Like you guys know, I like to show a little bit of my freckles and my beauty marks. So I don't want to cover up everything so that I'm just like a blank slate. I don't want that because I have freckles. I want to show it. So I'm definitely not going to go in with a third layer. I think this is perfect. Just to do two layers. Now here on my forehead, I also need to be careful because I have some fine lines there as well. So I don't really want to make it appear more, if that makes sense. I don't want my wrinkles to stand out. Haha, -ha. correct for you. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this foundation and put it on the eyelid as well so that we have a clean canvas to start on for the eyes. Now for concealer, I'm not going to do concealer today. I don't need it today, so I'm definitely not, not going to use it today. So what I definitely want to do is I want to go in with my banana powder. I'm going to pick it up with my ooh, mermaid brush. Mermaid brush. This is never going to get old. I don't want a new. 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 That could be a song. I don't want a new brush for picking up my powder. I definitely don't want a new brush. Because I like this brush. I might die with this brush. Wow. Okay. I think that's too much. Let's just pick up my foundation before I lose everything. And then a little less, a little less. Okay. Then I'm just going to blend everything in. I like to set my whole face with powder because I have oily skin. If you have dry skin, do not do this. Definitely don't set your whole face. Because it will just feel more dry. And you don't want that. Not at all. That looks better. I think that looks better. We go in with the Fix Eyes Eyeshadow Dutigal Metallic Eyeshadows Palette. And I'm going to pick up Okay. I'm going to pick up this shade, which we're going to place in the crease area. So you're not really going to see this color that much, but it definitely helps to deafen, to deafen, to give death. Why can't I say it? D-E-P-T-H. Depth. Oh, to get depth to your eye. So that when we're done with the whole look, it would look more polished. And I have this color number nine. I normally use these neon colors and mix it in with my acrylics or gels. But I'm going to use it for my makeup today. So this is the powder color. What I'm going to do is first, I still have foundation on my hand. So I can use this because it's still wet. I'm going to go in and put it on my eyelid on the areas I want this yellow color. But then I need to go immediately in with this powder to stick to it before the foundation dries. In with ooh, a powder yellow. So why I decided to do yellow is just because yellow is such a happy color. When I think about happiness, I think about yellow for some reason. Other people think about rainbows, unicorns, all that fun stuff. I think about yellow and just yellow. <laughs> oh, maybe I should skip this yellow subject. Anyway, so we're building up that yellow color on the lid up until the outer corner. See how pretty that looks! I'm a soul. Yo, this this is really nice. I really like this. Maybe I should do it like an everyday look like yellow and become the yellow lady. That can work for me. Anywho. So you can see all the fallouts because this is not an eyeshadow. I should have done the eyes before I did the foundation. But hey, we can make it work. Oh, that looks so, so nice. So I'm just going to build up here a little bit more. There we go, that looks 
nice. And then I'm going in with that same Essence Blender brush. And I'm going to blend this yellow out on top. See, look how pretty that looks. This is really nice. This is a nice color as well. I think I already said that. To show you. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my concealer brush. And we're going to make a cut crease. But just in front. Just in front of the eye. I don't want to go out too much. Just like that. Oh, that's going to look nice. I really think that's going to look nice. Okay, and this side as well. And then I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do actually. Bring that cut crease up a little bit here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Another powder that I use in my acrylics or gels for nails, I'm going to use on my face today. <laughs> Some glitter. So this is from the company called Rikonika. Rikonika. And you can get it on um, beautyscorea.com. You can get it on beautyscorea.com. With my finger again, it's like the best God-given tools. And then put it on that wet foundation. Ooh. Not just a little. This is a lot. Right. Whoa. Whoa. If we define this look now, it's going to look amazing. Okay, so I want a white line for my cat's eye today. But I don't have white eyeliner. So what I'm going to try, I've never done this before. But again, I'm going to use one of my color powders. And this is a white color. It's mark number three. I don't know why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out my normal eyeliner shape. The cat eye. And then I'm going to place the white on it. And outlining there where I would put my eye like nice. I really hope the white is quite intense. Really make this look pop. I don't normally do my eyeliner with my concealer brush. But hey, this looks like it can actually work. Now with my same brush, going in with that white. And I'm going to place it on that line. Oh, it's not that intense that I wanted. So it's definitely not going to work. So what I'll do is I'll just use this to set the foundation. Just so that it's dry. And then I'm going to go in with my normal eyeliner. I really hope the beauty industry opens up soon so I can go get new makeup products. But I can't get it now. I'm going to go in with my black glimmer stick from Avon. And just outline that waterline on top and underneath. And now I'm going to go in with the Elegal Line Art Matte Eyeliner. And put that over the mess I made. Ooh, it comes out like a grayish color. Hmm. Definitely remember that for next time. I won't recommend the product before putting on the eyeliner because I can actually dry out my eyeliner now which hopefully I don't I'm going to brush off that fallout I'm going to go in with this almost purpley color here and that same palette I'm picking it up with my Avon brush and applying that underneath the eye and then to give some preciseness to this look on the eyes I'm going in with that same foundation Look at us being economic. And then lining my precise line out. So for this foundation under the eyes, I'm going to get a little bit more of my powder to set it. And that smaller brush to just get enough powder on. Okay, so I'm going to put that underneath my eye. Here we go. Setting that in place. Oh, that looks so, so nice. So what I'm going to do now, off camera, is I'm going to do my blush 
my highlighter and my contouring because you always see me doing and it looks basically the same because I have the same products please open up the beauty industry so I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be back with you now mm, now I can pout better <laughs> don't know why because it's contouring anywho so for lashes I'm going in with these I don't know what you call them I don't know where they come from but they are lashes okay so firstly i'm gonna remove these lashes and then see how much i need to cut off because these are quite dramatic lashes and i'm not sure if it's gonna fit okay so i need to cut off quite a lot i don't know if you can see okay so then these ones in the inside we will fill up with mascara Okay, then I just normally take the back of my brush, put it in some glue, and then glue this. Now we wait for it to dry. Do the lips. Avon Color Trend. This is in the color Red Scandal. Ooh. So let's apply it. Ooh. I like the color. So first we're going to do the Cupid's bow. Putting it with this side. And then filling it in with this flat. Oh, pretty. So you can also go in with your concealer brush and just fix any imperfections. Pouting. Mm, pouting. Is that trend over yet? I think it is. Okay, so this is all flowers, which is happy. I'm going to take out this yellow flowerish stuffies I'm going to apply some of that leftover glue from the lashes to my brow bone I think this is going to look nice Oh, these bunnies! Dotting tool I'm picking up a bunny So cute And this I'm going to place on the end here There's a bow as well Putting that next to it. So let's put another bunny on here. That's extra. I like extra. So now I'm sure we gave enough time for our lashes to dry. So let's go in with our lashes now. Okay, then we'll go in with our mascara. I'm using the Revlon Mega Multiplier. And then we just want to finish this look off with some setting spray. Of course, I'm using the Avon Makeup Setting Spray. And that's how a look comes together. A look comes together. That's how a look comes together. I'm sorry for my singing. I'm sorry for hurting your ears. Anyway, this is our fun, happy look today. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And I hope to see you very soon. Click that like and subscribe button so you can get more of these videos. Leave me a comment down below if you like this video idea and what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Mm-hmm.